Hi, and uh, welcome to uh, Cool Your Damn Jets. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, the Google TV again um, because I've had some uh, new experiences uh, with it and uh, more disappointments. Um, overall, I still think that it is a beta device uh, that should not be on the market because it has too many bugs. Uh, but you may disagree with that. And if you do, uh, please leave a comment, and uh, we can hash it out. Um, so first of all, I have a previous video uh, on the Google TV, and most of my complaints are still present. Um, but with some, there's something that has been fixed, and I'm going to explain what it is in this video. Um, first of all, I want to point out that there's still no profile. And um, in October of 2020, the press, the technical press, made a lot of noise about they were looking at the at the code. I don't know which part of the code and how they could access it. Um, it could be open source. I have no idea. Uh, but they could see profile information in there. And it looked like there was going to be a release of the Google TV with support for multiple profiles. Uh, we're in January 2022, and this hasn't happened. And in the meantime, we've had a big firmware upgrade that fixed some things, but it did not fix that. So there's still no profiles on a Google TV. And just on that basis, to me, it, it means as a device you should still wait to buy and not buy now. Um, other than that, um, yeah, there was a firmware upgrade. One of the things that the firmware upgrade added was a live TV tab. And quite frankly, I don't like it. Uh, I barely watch live TV. Um, we mostly have it because my wife likes to watch CBS. Um, I could do entirely without it. Um, and uh, Cherry on the Sunday of that live TV nonsense is that um, they carry the network OAN, uh, which, in my opinion, is complete and utter trash. Um, so now I'm supporting complete and utter trash because I have a Google TV that supports OAN. And the live TV feature is provided through Pluto TV, which is a, an app that I don't want to install and it's not installed on my device right now. I installed it to see that they had OAN and stuff like that. And then I didn't uninstalled it and I don't plan to install it ever again. Um, so the update did fix some things, but it added things that people might not want like live TV. Um, and it's not innocent, you know, because when you go to the for you suggestions, I almost always have a live show in there. Uh, it's, it suggests movies and TV shows, and then there's a live, at least one live show. Like, I'm going to watch the last 10 minutes of a James Bond movie. Yeah, <laughs> of course. That's what I do all day. Um, uh, apart from that, the other problems that I've encountered, I've encountered more problems with the interface. Um, when I want to watch an episode of Succession, it forgets that we have access to it through uh, H HBO Max, I think. Yes, it's HBO Max. We have access to, uh, we access it through HBO Max, um, and it forgets that. And the first choice it gives me, if I just click, 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 and click on Watch, it's going to send me to, um, I think, Amazon Prime. I'm not sure. Uh, and I think there I would have to have a subscription to it. I, it's it's a big problem. And there's no rhyme or reason. It forgets about it, and then it sends me to the wrong place. Then the next time, and so I go back and select the right uh, source. And then the next time, the right source is going to be there. And then the time after that, it's going to go back to sending me to the wrong place. It's just it's annoying. It's, so it's not consistent. So it, sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong, and and it's just annoying. So I can I tend to be very 
automatic, like sometimes passwords. I don't even remember them. If somebody just has me the password, it's all, uh, you know, uh, muscle memory to enter the password. And it's the same thing with all my devices at the home, the remotes and everything. And I tend to go by muscle memory, da, 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 da. and then I end up in the wrong place. And I, ah, oh, fuck, yeah, that forgot. So I have to go back and and kind of fix it. But since it's not consistent, there's, I guess I should have to select the source manually every time. Um, but it's annoying. So we had the problem with succession. We had that problem also with uh, Swedish series called in English, the restaurant. Um, and it didn't remember where that show was coming from for us. Uh, it was, uh, I don't remember what it was choosing as a default source, but it was not Amazon Prime. We're watching it on Amazon Prime because I have a subscription there to be able to watch it. And it was sending us to another place where, you know, pay more money and you'll be able to watch it. Um, and this is, you know, an ongoing annoyance with the interface that it doesn't know what you want. It suggests things that don't match what you have. And it's just bloody annoying. Um, on the positive side, so I said there was a firmware update that I did a while back. On the positive side, they seem to have fixed uh, the time zone update. Remember that in my first video, I was talking about how there was a one hour difference. If I looked at the show that was going to come on live on YouTube, on the website, it would tell me one time, and on my Google TV device, it would have a different time. It was different by, different by one hour. And my assumption was somebody forgot time zones somewhere. Um, I don't have that problem anymore. Uh, though I have to say that I don't recall the timeline is possible that they didn't fix it. And that the only reason that there's no problem now is because we changed time zones. I didn't look into, into that aspect of it. I'm just thinking about it now. Uh, but I did go and check if the problem was still happening. It was not happening. So I, right now, I don't know. They may have fixed that. Or it may be fixed <laughs> because uh, we changed uh, times um, in between. So I'm not sure whether they actually fixed it. Um, but rem rem I'm reminding you that the, I talked to somebody about that, someone from Google, about this problem. And their solution was, Reset your Google TV device. Reset the router. Reset this. Reset that. And then eventually you reset the whole fucking universe. Yes, I said fucking. Um, so, yeah. So I don't know if that's actually fixed. It looked fixed to me, but maybe in spring I'm going to come back and say, nope, they didn't fix it. They still they're still confused by time zones at Google. Um, uh, the other bugs are still pretty much there. There are some stuff that I mentioned that I'm no longer having problems with because I don't watch the, the, the show that I mentioned the first time around. Um, so it's not a problem anymore in that sense. But I didn't go back and re-verify re whether I was still having the problems with specific shows. But I still cannot organize the watch list. Uh, this is annoying. This is very annoying. And uh, my watch list is getting bigger and bigger. And there's no way to say, to search even in the watch list. It seems to me a search, search company should be able to do that. But um, maybe in a general search, I can search in my watch list also. But um, maybe it's going to say from your watch list. I didn't try it, actually. Uh, but the watch list. Yeah, I still cannot reorganize the shows. And it, it is annoying because there are some shows that we're watching right now, and it would be nice to have them at the start of the list. And there are shows that they've shown a season, and then they're going to show a new season next year or in two years sometimes. And I'd rather have those be kind of downgraded instead of being right up in the list. 
Um, and the only way I know to change the order of stuff in the list is to manually go into the Google website and search for my list, and it's going to show you the list, and then you start adding and removing shows, and then you're going to have your list in the order you want. But uh, that's annoying. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier there's still no support for multiple profiles. Um, the HDMI output still fails sometimes. Uh, you know, there are days like I have to restart the device every time I turn on the TV because it bugs out on the on the HDMI output. I see I just see snow, or I see an image that is not constant. So I can have like ten seconds of good image, and then it it cuts out and then it comes back. Um, there's another problem I've encountered, which I don't know what error message I'm getting exactly, but it seems to be a problem at the protocol level between the HDMI in the device and the HDMI in the TV. And the TV set tells me something like, it sounds like copy protection, like, oh, your device hasn't, um, registered properly with the TV, so we cannot play this video because it is copyright pro protected. And right now it looks like you're looking at it on a device that we've not authorized. Um, I've, I've seen that error message a bunch of times. Um, I, as I said, I don't remember what the exact wording is. And I chalk it up to another HDMI problems, like, when they negotiate between the two devices, there's some information that is sent into the bit bucket, and then the TV doesn't want to play my video because it thinks I'm a pirate. Uh, that's a sheer idiocy on the on the part of the makers of the Google TV device. So Google, uh, the makers of the TV, I have an LG TV, so it's shared ESC on the part of the LG TV. It's shared ESC on the part of the people who made the HDMI protocol. It's idiotic all around, but I have that's what I get. I have to live with it. Uh, or I guess I could sell everything and become a monk, but uh, that doesn't seem to be in the card. Um, And I still have problems with the remote where the remote either, sometimes the remote freezes. So I'm doing something and then there's some, some of the buttons on the remote just don't work anymore. And I have to restart the device to be able to, to do it properly. I've also seen cases where it's like, I press a button and that button seems to be kind of stuck and it's not mechanical because I can do everything I want with the remote. But it's like if I press the, the, the right button, it's going to just register like right presses all the time. So if I'm at the top of the screen and I'm in the menu, it's going to just move to the right. And then I can like press the left button and go left and then it's going to go back right when I stop. Um, so more problems uh, with the remote. And so, again, my current opinion is this is a beta device. They haven't debugged it. They haven't thought about it. Um, Google doesn't seem to care much about the device. They've sent an upgrade, which may or may have may or may or have not fixed some problems. I don't know the problems that they thought they were fixing. Possibly the time zone problem. But as I said, I had just thought of a of a situation that could maybe it's just happens as it looks like it's fixed now. Um, so for me, uh, that device is a pass. You know, if I didn't already have it. I, I would not go out, or I would not go out, period, but I would not you know, go on the Google website and order it. I, I, I would wait. I would use what's in our TV, and I would wait for a while until um, they finally produce a version that is debugged. And maybe they're never going to produce the version that is debugged. Uh, my opinion of Google has gone down over the years. Um, and I'm quite certain right now that they're just doing stuff 
because they can. There's no rhyme or reason. And if you complain, in the chances that you're going to get a, a good response from them are, are nil. Um, I cannot. I mean, we have we have a lot of Google devices around the house. We have Google Fi. Uh, you know, we have YouTube. We get Google TV and stuff like that. Um, but you know, Google Fi. I think we've been all right when we complain. But for the rest, it's like it, it's there's people with scripts and they say, "Well, reset this, reset that, reset." I've, al I've already reset what I should reset. If I'm talking to you, it's because I think there's a more serious problem in your software, but they don't listen to that. They're still on their script, and they throw the script at you, and it's they, they pretty much don't care. Uh, you know, don't do evil. That was the initial motto of Google. Uh, eventually, they've, they I don't know that they've removed that, but they de-emphasize it. Because um, I think they just wanted the latitude of doing evil, and right now they, they are definitely uh, doing evil with the with this device, which is still buggy, um, and with others uh, other services, uh, which I'm going to talk about in another video about Google specifically. Um, so that's my update for the Google TV. Um, so if you like the video, thumb, thumb it up. And if you, you can subscribe to the channel, uh, you can leave comments if you have comments. Uh, but uh, that's it for now. So see you some other time.